Camera. Lights. Identification. <laughs> yeah, that was corny. Okay, today is Poor Man's Power Steering, the sequel. So we are going to do the Poor Man's Power Steering on the LX178. Now this tractor is not that hard to steer, but I have an extra set of bearings and thrust washers to do this. So we're going to start, and I won't put you through all four, but we're going to start by putting the grease grooves in two of these. And I just use, uh, the last time I did it, I actually just watched the video, and the last time I did it I used my Dremel with this uh, grinder do hummer in the Dremel twister. So I'll just get that out of the way and then we'll come back. <laughs> Sorry I apologize so much. Okay, I'm just finishing up the little grooves on the washers. And I gotta do the other one just a bit more. Excuse me. They get hot. Just gotta go a little deeper. I don't like getting water on my carpenter's vise. Okay, and I have found out, notice I'm wearing gloves this time. I have found out that the Dremel is about the best tool for this. And uh, it doesn't even, if you take your time, it doesn't even heat up the washer that bad. So I'm just going to buff this on the, on the wire brush, on my grinder wire brush. And, uh, see a little bit, a little bit more there. Remember, each time you do it, it's hot. That's what I got the water for. Okay, so I'm just going to buff this up on the, on the wire wheel, clean it up, and we'll go to step two. I know I don't have to take the steering apart, but I'm going to, just because I want to have a look at it too, right? Using the top wrench to turn the ratchet, see? And this is the first time I've had the steering apart on this machine. So it doesn't hurt. Can you guys see that or are you looking at my back? Maybe coming down from the top? Who knows? There we go. I just had to hold my tongue right. So now that should drop right out of there. And we'll take it to the bench. Go the old school way. <laughs> now that should just pull off. Good. And I'm just going to clean this up and I'll be right back. 
All right, this is what I love about playing around in the garage. Okay, do you see that circle there? That is not the thrust washer. This is the thrust washer, so look at that. Isn't that cool? Now we're gonna put a little bit of grease on the shaft. Yes, we're gonna grease the tractor too when we're all done. Okay. Now that goes on there like that. And then one of these with the smoothest side goes onto the bearing like that. And then the grease can go through those little groover doovers. Okay, come with me. I don't know if I will be able to use the same uh, snapping. gonna go on just like this. Are you guys, can you guys watch this? I think you can. Let's go get the light loop. I don't have to get grease all over everything. Does that help? I think it does. Well, I didn't hurt myself. I'm just trying to get the... Hey, let's use the other snap ring wire. We can clean them up. Where'd they go? I think I put them away like I threw them ahead. Yes, I did. Okay, now that the tire's off, I can come in on the side, eh? I knew that was going to happen. I was thinking, that's going to fall down. Mm, that is so close. I think it's in. One way to find out. This has been the best screwdriver. I don't even know who makes it. Professional USA, it says. But it doesn't have a flared shank, so it even works on uh, emulsion tubes, eh? Geez, I think that's in there. Oop. Gonna wipe it up and see how it looks. I'm not a hundred percent sure if that snap ring is in there. And I think it is, because the paint lines are gone. That is too cool, guys. Look at that. <laughs> There's a little bit of up and down motion too. Or is that side to side play? I am just going to make sure. That's not something you want to dork around with, right? Probably snap the snap ring.
Not quite, guys. So I'm going to play around with this for a bit, and we'll uh, come back when I get this one on or another one. Okay, guys, I used a slightly thinner one there. Right there. It's just microscopically thinner. It's all good, guys. Now, let's bolt the steering back up. Well, we still don't have a tire on. And yes, I know I could do this faster, but I'm working for myself, and I enjoy this kind of stuff. Now don't forget, you can still make it ratchet with the, with the wrench from the top, just like I did when I took it off. Good. Now before we uh, put the tire on, we're going to grease it. I'll be right back. in a little bit I guess. Now first of all we want grease to come out the bottom. No don't, don't forget I cleaned out this cavity. No, nope, I'm hearing something. There comes the grease. Beautiful. Pull down on this first. Right on, and it's coming up the top too. Now, something I should have done is, is I should have uh, not connected the steering and gone all the way around a couple of times. But that's okay. Well, it's 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 greased all the way through. You know it is because you saw them. You saw me put grease on the spindle. Oh, that was fun. Okay. Stick a little bit on there so I can get it all over me. And then the grease needle. Right, we want to shoot it up into that cup. There's a hole in the top of this grease needle. We want to get that grease right up into there. Oh yeah, man, that's perfect. I want to get it up into that ball right there. Good. Tire back on, and yes, the tire stem goes to the inside. Good. Good, and then the cap, oh, that's on there. So we're done one side. That was fun. So I'll get the other side set up and we'll do it again. Alright, we're on the other side. Right here, I'm going to undo the steering. I actually, while I had the, uh, the grease needle on, I, I greased this side. Oops, 
pull that off, put that back on so you don't lose it. Perfect. That should just drop right out of there. Oh, <laughs> that's right too. There are two steering ball joints on this one. I forgot about that. I greased them both. You can see there's you can see there's red grease on that knuckle. Oh, and it's probably bigger too. Or, or, or somebody throws a wrench into it. Wait. Okay, so let's see if we can get this off now. There we go. Good. No problem. Okay, now I'm going to go, am I in the way? I'm just going to put that nut on this. We will put that there. And we'll take this back to the bench and we'll clean it up. Are you with me? Okay, I am just going to stick some more gloves on and get the, give this a little bath. All right, let's do this. Three-quarter inch washer, thrust washer, a greased, what do they call that? There's no name on it. Roller bearing washer, three-quarter inch. And then our modified thrust washer to let the grease through. Right, a little bit of grease on the shaft. So we put a little bit of grease on the uh, on the other shaft too, just to uh, so we can get it all over ourselves when we get down there. Why not? Fantastic! Now the steering. Let's wipe those off too. Even though I got I greased them already. Well, there's not much to look at once the job's done. And I'll have to drive it to see how much easier it is, if it is easier. But it's done. And just like my 180, I had to use slightly smaller gapped uh, C-clips. So, anyway. Thank you very much for watching, Tubes. Snap ring, not sneak. That's what the hesitation was. Snap ring, not C clip. Snap ring, snap ring. All right. Thanks a lot.